the time of year when many people come down with sniffles and colds. But if one group of law enforcement officials has their way, you won't be able to make a quick trip to the drugstore for some cold medicine. The Kentucky Narcotic Officers Association wants to put strict controls on pseudoephedrine to reduce the production of meth in the state. Kentucky already uses an electronic tracking system for that, for those sales at pharmacies, with a limit per person of over 30-day period. But now, that could change. Dave Spencer takes a look at the cold medicine crackdown. The war on drugs may soon be fought at the doctor's office. A group of Kentucky lawmakers say prescriptions could be the way to curb methamphetamine use. One of the key ingredients to make meth is pseudoephedrine, found in over-the-counter cold medicine. When lawmakers found the common thread, they took steps to make the drugs harder to get. Purchases of the medicine is tracked online. They get approval uh, online as well within seconds to tell us whether or not that person is allowed to purchase the quantities that they are requesting to purchase. And at the CNC pharmacy, they say it seems to be working. We have had uh, it happen where someone got denied. But the Kentucky Narcotics Officers Association says more can be done, like requiring a prescription to buy medicine like Sudafed. An idea Chris Paluta says has its pros and cons. He says a doctor's visit may stop some from getting the drugs, but once they get a prescription... Who knows how many tablets they're going to write for. So you may end up being able to purchase a lot more than you can purchase now. And what about patients who actually need the medicine? The idea implies a doctor's visit before going to the pharmacy, a costly and time-consuming proposition. It's going to probably be very frustrating for the patient who takes pseudoephedrine once or twice a year because you get a cold. Paludas doesn't want to dismiss the idea of prescriptions entirely, saying the meth problem is one that needs to get under control. Much more debate has to be had uh, before a final decision can be made. Some states, like Oregon, for example, have required prescriptions for cold medicines for the past three years. They say they've seen meth labs drop from 200 to 50 in that time period. In Lexington, Dave Spencer, WKYT 27 News First. A legislation on prescription